as a man of God, I, I, I have to be open. This is the truth and nothing but the truth. I will not lie. I swear with my life and my ministry. This is exactly what happened. As a pastor, you cannot condemn people. If you go to her profile page on Facebook, you will know better if this girl is really a good person or not. So by the grace of God, I saw her and she said she liked me and she wants us to, the marriage to, she wants us to be. I believed her and I said, okay, me, I like you too. As a man of God, she told me that the family doesn't want a relationship or this thing, that they want everything to be done. If I am serious, I said, yes, why not? And I said, okay, I cannot sleep with you before marriage. Oh, that is the order. And I have to do things according to how you people want it. By the grace of God, I have saved right for my child. I have never saving money. You don't think what they save. So that one won't be a problem. So after telling her, and I told her, okay, since you are here now, let me have your father's contact so that I will know how their tradition is, so that I can follow the, uh, the uh, direction of their tradition and their process, so that I will know what, what to do. After telling her, she said, no, she cannot give me the father's contact. I can only go to the mother. That the mother will be the one to determine whether I'm serious or not. And that's okay. Let me have your mother's number. Then she did not give me the mother's number. The mother now said, as a pastor, if I'm serious, I should do the right thing. That uh, since I'm coming from Delta State, and it's a very far place, I should send money to her that she knows the tradition more. I should send money to her that she knows the, what is in that list, that she wants to help me make things easy for me. I said, okay, then that when she said, when they said it, we found that one said to her, I made the father before they asked me to come. Then and I said, I don't much. He said, I should send the money. I sent 150,000 first. Let us start send 50, which is about 260,000, was sent to the mother's account. Then after I sent all this money, I have to call the mother. Now I've sent the money. I want to come with my family. The mother refused that I cannot come with anybody. That, that is how her first daughter marriage was destroyed. That I cannot come there. Let people know that she's getting that daughter is getting married. That they will bewitch her. I said I'm a pastor. That cannot happen. The mother insisted. And for me now, I have already sent the money. I cannot be having issue with my in-laws at the first time we are just talking. So I have to play along because I don't want any problem at all. I say I think I've, how can I let me from here travel away from better states to Port Harcourt with her family going there with me? So based on this their condition, I have to go. I left here to Port Harcourt. When I got to Port Harcourt, I asked the mother, where is the father of this girl? No, I will know how far they have gone with the money I sent. The mother told me that I cannot see the father, that she will be the one to hand over her daughter to me, hand the marriage. I refused. I said, can the mother? It's not done. It's an abomination. You cannot give your daughter to me while the father is not present. With enough argument, she went and bring some people that he said is your uncle from the father. I look at those people, but my spirit is telling me these people are not the father's brothers. These are just his the tenants in that house. Then he said they are their uncle. I have to buy drink for them, give them drink. Then and I see that I want to see the father. The mother, out of anger, gave me the father's contact. I have to call the father. The father says in Abia State, I should come with her daughter and come with my family. Then when I now get uh, tell her that I want to go with her daughter, the mother refused. That I cannot. The mother refused that I cannot go with her daughter. I should go there alone. I said, I can only let me go and see the her father. And the father will not pray for let me alone. Your daughter is not there to bless, the father to bless two of us. It's not done. Then the mother insisted that if anything should happen to her daughter, she will hold me responsible. That he doesn't want the village people to see any, whatever that will happen there. He now asked the, the son, the last son to follow me. Let the son be going. As the son is going, I should watch the son. Any house he enters, I should enter. I should give space so that people don't know what is happening. I have to follow the instruction too. Because me, I'm a gentleman, I don't want problem. I have to follow the son, be looking at the son. He says, you hide the wine I brought. I have to be hiding wine like a criminal. Imagine a man of God hiding wine that I'm going for marriage. I have to hide it inside my clothes. When I go there, I got there, the son entered one house. I followed him and enter. The father, I met the father. And the father said, so... So I have to be hiding wine. When I got there, the father said, so you are the one that... Uh, they talked to I said, yes, sir. He said, he got some money they sent to his account. But it's not all the money. It's okay. Where is my daughter? So that I can bless both of you. I said the mother said she should not come with me. The man smiled. I said, where is your own family? 
I said the mother still insist that nobody should come with me. The man said, okay, you come from a very far place. I cannot send you back because I have something to say. I can't send you back to Delta State. Let, neither let me pray for you. I knelt down the picture. I have a picture that proves what all I'm saying. I have to tell the same son to snap me and the father. They have to snap us as a proof. Even the money I was taking to go and see the father, the mother exchanged the money in my hand. I had 20,000 with me. He said, I should bring that one. She went inside and bring another money. I said, why are you changing the money in my hand? And she said, nothing, you know, that she doesn't want any the father to use the money against her daughter. Then I have to accept. That was why I went there with the money. And the same money, I, I went there, I got there, I saw the father. I carried the money. I kept it there for him. I kept the wine. And the man prayed for me. And the man told me something. I have something to tell you. Because you came alone, that's why I cannot tell you things. When you want to do your marriage, call me, I will come. I promised him that I will invite him over. Then when I got here, I told him I'm going to do court marriage because uh, if I'm traveling abroad, then I can be able to go with my wife because I have ministrations over there. That because there are some countries I will go without uh, being married, you can't enter. There. That's why I'm doing a court marriage. So the father now said, okay, if I'm doing it, I should call him that he, he want to come. That day, I want to do the court marriage. I call the I want to call the father. The mother said, if I should call the father, he will take the daughter. I should never try it at all and call the father. He will take her daughter and go. Yeah, it's my happy day and I don't want any problem. I have to listen to her. Then when I listen to her now, I didn't call the father. After the court marriage, the mother told me, my daughter is in school. I, I, we are training her in school. I hope you, you know how to stop her from school. I said, no, I won't stop her. I will not stop her. And she also put again, you are going to train this girl in school. I said, not what you told me. I'm a pastor and I'm any little. And I'm not even on salary. I don't tax people in the church. How can I raise money to train her in the HND? Because when I said I don't train her, finish for OND. Uh -uh. He said I must do it if, I, if not, she will take her daughter. With a lot of pressure and problem, I said, okay, I accept. And I called the daughter. I said, okay, since you are your parents have been training you, let me see your OND result to prove it. Then after the OND result, then I know where I can start from. She said she doesn't have an OND result. That uh, she's owing the school 120,000. But and I told her, okay, but your parents said they are training you in school. How come you don't even have a result? You don't have a result to prove you are in school. One, you are owing the school 120,000. Then me, that doesn't know when that money was, when you put in a meal, come pay. She said, make a clear, more, make a peer, more. Say, person, don't marry. Responsibility now for the man. I go carry all the responsibility where the parents they carry. From a lot of pressure now, the mother says she will take her if I don't pay that money. I said, okay, I now accepted. Because it was difficult for me. How can I do all this thing? No, let me. Then I'm not so okay. Take 70,000, may you go to that school. From the 70,000 I gave her, she said the brother called that the brother need money. He carried the 70,000 inside, sent for the brother. I said, not be able to say money I give you, may take go to school. You send for your brother, B. He said his brother needed something now. In fact, could say Jack, the money don't finish. And she said there is no longer school for now. That uh, no go man do whatever she, she talked about, that she will not go to school for now. That she cannot stay doing nothing. And I said, okay, let me go and look for money. And I'm going to open a business. Go and look for money. Open a business, 1.2 million naira for her to stay. Could you imagine the same business I opened for her to stay? This girl will leave the business. Rain will scatter market. Rain scatter my market. She will be here pressing phone. Even when I'm far, calling her. She will not pick because she's online with her mother. She's making a long call. I say, come, can't you call that call? Tell your mother that your husband is calling you for an important thing. Look at rain everywhere. Look at market, everything. He said, I go cut her mother call. That is how she frustrated the business I opened. She cannot carry things. I rain with her. People here will be calling me. Look at the person you put here to be watching over business. Is she really your wife or who? Is this girl who the community has started complaining? Even when she was, she will say, she will do something like that will be revealing even her pint is almost showing on the street here. People will tell me, who is this lady? Where did you get this lady from? She dresses the way she wants. And I told her, this thing, people are already talking. Because of it, I started buying clothes for her. She told me I should stop buying the clothes. I should be giving her money for those clothes. That's when I stopped buying. I went through hell. So after all this, she always threatened me she will leave her if I don't give her any money she wants. I keep send, sending her. So it was after I gave her, the, she, she said, she, after I opened the business, she said she would be paying her salary every month. I said, I cannot be paying my wife's salary for the business I opened. And she told me she's going back to school. That school will resume. I said, just on that one week I opened the business, you are going back to school. He said, yes, I must go back to school. If I don't go back to school, you will regret it. I have to, the mother have to call me and start warning me. 
If I don't allow her daughter to go back to school, anything I say, I should take it. Then I have to give her. I say she needs 15,000. Give her 15,000. Carry the 15,000 now where you say you need go school. Now she carry the 15,000. But so before I give her this 15,000, look at what happened here. And I thought, okay, you are going to school for two years. At least you should be pregnant now. As my wife, I didn't even know that all that was happening. This girl came here with a ginger, a bag of ginger in my kitchen. Anytime I stay with her as a wife, she'll go and begin to chew ginger. And and anytime I stay with her, I watch nothing is happening. And I ask her, uh -uh. if I stay with her, she'll go and take ginger. And she'll go and begin to chop ginger. It's still in my kitchen till now. If you want me, I can still snap it and send to you. I thought I don't like the order of this thing. He says it's not, it doesn't mean anything. It was later somebody told me that ginger means when a woman doesn't want to take in. She will be eating ginger. I asked her to stop it. The, the, we immediately asked her to stop it. She now took in. She took in and she started feeling sick. And people understand the pistol there understand what is going on. Then she now used her hand to go and buy test tube. I was not even the person that bought it. She was the one that bought it. She tested herself and she said she's pregnant. I said I want to be sure. Now carry and come not see her. Not check and not say yes, it's true that she's pregnant. Then she, I was not around and went out. I, I had a conversation between her and mother. Her mother come to tell her, said, why did you allow it? Why did you take in? And I told the mother I was the one who was pressurizing her to take in. The mother said, is that what you were asked? Why did you go and take in at the first place? Then the thing almost cost you, should have to call the mother. Are you the one that would tell me when your if my wife should be taken in? Are you the one? Are you the one that would tell me when your wife, my wife should take in? Then after that much now, I have to allow, say, make allow her daughter come. If I don't allow her come, say, if I don't allow her daughter come see her or go back to school, she will destroy my ministry. She will lay allegation on me. Then I ask, okay, let her cook my go. And how am I going to leave her in this, this condition when she's pregnant in the school? Then who will look after her? The mother said, it's not my decision that she will be the one to determine. I have to let her go. Then when she gets to school there, after collecting the money from me, and as a high her baby, she says she's not pregnant, that she's come me. I will send you the conversation between me and her where she says she's coming. That that thing she, she was the one that used her hand to mark it. I still want to know how can somebody mark a test tube? She claims she's not pregnant. I have to also reveal to her what the father said that the mother is using the her for business, that she's married. I didn't even know that she's married. The father told me that she's married, though I'm making it the third person. That that is on her head. That was what she wanted to. The father said, This is what I wanted to tell you the day you came. But I couldn't tell you because you came alone. That this is the whole truth that they are doing. Then the mother, uh, the father had told me everything that they are doing business, so that I've been that they deceived me, that I fall victim of scam. That is what the that is what the mother is doing. That anybody, the mother go even from Potako there, married the, her daughters out, even him no go no. Say the two person where Konale two person they carry can't give away pay her diary. That me I'm making it the third person. I got angry. I have to call her to find out the truth. She told me yes that she scammed me. Whether they from phone, they send money. Whether I phone they they from marry. This is what she told me. After they are the one that asked me to send the money to them. I even traveled from here to Port Harcourt. And if it was, if they are claiming that, it, 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 why did I transfer money to them? Then why did the elder brother not came for the court marriage to come and sign? Because I have the picture of the elder brother here that came. If they are not, if everything they are doing, I didn't even know they even they have to bribe that his elder brother to make sure he's here so that the father will not come to expose them. I have every details here. So all these things, when they were doing all, they have to call them. The fact we even know it. She have already blocked me, removed her marriage picture on Facebook and everything. Me, I, I didn't even know. I asked her, she said it doesn't mean anything. No. She said it doesn't mean anything. That was before this thing started happening. That's before she left here. Say she's the one that put, she can still remove it. It doesn't make anything. I said, but people are still asking questions. Why would a married woman remove a picture from Facebook? And me, my own is there. That I'm married. She said it doesn't matter. I have to defend her. Tell people that I'm the one that asked her to remove them. That because of, I don't want people to put eye on her. This was the lie I lied, just to save her from people begin to read meaning to her, what she did. She knows about her. I have to deny, I have to just cover her up. After that, she's gone. She went to uh, WhatsApp again. She blocked me. Hmm. And that's when I know that there's something fishy. After the father confessed all this, and she said, yes, that whether they paid her, after they her, don't collect money for me, finish. Even the court, I went to do this thing, said, we're asking for the, after the court, I have to know what is happening. When the court now heard it, they said, this boy has come. That they would have arrested them. I said, no, me, I don't want it. She made it go, made the carry money go. I never even wanted to push matter. Let them eat because I reported it to the elder sister first. They had all this thing. The sister said, he doesn't know what to say. She to block me. All their families are there blocking me. Everybody run away. 
I said, okay, let me leave them between them and let the spirit of God judge them. If what they did, if it was coming me, before the mother come here, the mother said she sent her to 60,000 for transport. Before she come for this, uh, I have to send the mother 60,000. Before the mother come, say, buy me new bed. I have to go and buy a new bed, form of 70,000. It's still in my house now. Even the bed safe, nobody's sleeping. The nylon has not lose it. Before the mother sleep on the bed, I have to buy her new bed. Say she cannot sleep on old one. I bought a new bed, gave her city have only transport for her to come. If not, she won't come. Before she leave here, she says she need a uh, fufu. All my church members have to go to farm, go and suffer. Make gare on donor, we just carry and give to the mother. In the bag, she carry go. In spite of that, again, she says the mother still need gare. I have to go and buy a bag of gare, carry the mother, carry go back. I don't have to be sharing tears to be saying this. Eh? It's a pity. That you leave who she leave whom she was calm in that is a man of God. So after they carry all this thing, go. I didn't even know that these people their conscience is at their back. They all denied me. And she said that laying frimsy, laying accusation, I don't know me. And before I could even say anything, self, she came to the church on her on her now. She didn't tell us she was coming. She carried some boys come in a car. When I was preaching, she stood on the road there. And started saying, say she will. It's because she, the money she even demanded again. I didn't give her. She's constant on the express here and begin to tell her that I'm a false prophet. Lay all sort of allegation on me. As she was saying it, she didn't know that I have been here for good six years. I have no bad record. I don't carry. I don't wear chain. I don't wear ring. My house is open. All my children go there to. The church. The church was insisting that they should transfer the money they stole from me back. I said no. Let them go with the money. So after allow them carry all her property, give it to her inside the motor. That there's some of the brothers. The church, the church was insisting that they should transfer the money they stole from me back. I said, no, let them go with the money. So I have to allow them to carry all her property, give it to her inside the money. My children go to my house to clean. My member go there to clean. I don't have a secret room. This is me. I was born with a gift of prophecy right from my childhood. If you go to my community, go and ask them. They will tell you, this young man started this ministry when he was small. I don't have pastor friends. Because I don't want anybody to corrupt my ministry. The one God give me, I'm okay with it. I don't push crowd or go to my you just go to my face you see the member i have these are people i'm training for heaven i'm not interested in pushing crowd at the end of the day all these things they do to make ministry at the end person go to hell i don't keep friends she knows that she knows it and all these things she came up telling allegation on the express here and people gather both children who both mothers people were angry so you people after you have mind to scan this man of god you still have the mind from potaco to carry men come here when he's preaching, they scatter my chair, break my chairs inside church. And the people there, this community wanted to say, let us set these people on fire. No, burn them. I said, no, leave them. Nobody has said that they don't touch the mother. Leave the mother. And they said, this woman is a wicked, a evil woman for her to have done this using her children for business. I said, leave the mother. Leave her. Don't touch her. It was the boy, one of the boys that started fighting one of the elders. The one that wear black glass that entered the church. That was the one they stone. People carry stones. Stone. Now she run. Now that one run. That one run, go uh, police station first. Make it go make a case. He reached the night police. Okay, can we invite this man of God that you say that uh, stone you? They said no. The DPO would say, Okay, we sit. Uh, let us go and arrest him. They said no. Before we know it, they ran back to Potako. So it was when the brother gets back to Potako after they have carried their property, the one that are remaining here, I allowed them to carry it because the church was even insisting that they should transfer the money they stole from me back. The church, the church was insisting that they should transfer the money they stole from me back. I said no, let them go with the money. So after allowed them to carry all her property, give it to her inside the motor that there's some of the brother, a brother came with, and I allowed them to go and leave everything to God. So immediately they left, but that's his brother again. Send me a message that he's going to come to church, he's going to shoot everybody. The record is here, he's going to the way they came, that's how they are going to come again. Uh -uh. I said, This is serious. So after these people are the ones that did me evil, yet they are the one destroying me. What did I do to these people? So after all these things that they, they, they did, I have to go to police station, go and make official report. I never wanted to tell anybody before that this, this family are threatening to do another one again. Deep your nose, okay, these people have come here. And when they came here that Sunday, they ran, they could not even give a report for me, them to come here. That he saw that their, their way are not straightforward. That what exactly happened? I have to tell the DPO, tell the police, and write that the statement. The police were shocked. They say this thing is just something that happened in the movie. That is, I have to play all the record and everything in the conversation. Because one thing that the Spirit of God asked me to record every conversation I have with a, everybody. I will record it, but they were not aware I was recording it. I will send it to you so that you hear yourself. Both the father's conversation, both her own conversation, where she denied me, everything is on record. There's, you cannot, they, they can, that one is, so that they won't know it to shock them. So when they did all this thing, now the police now say, okay, 
I would if they say they knew they would have heard them here. Even the court said were angry. They wanted to carry the case to uh, arrest them because it was calm. Even the the the, 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 the list said they didn't give me the money. They collected everything. They collected. No one would go to me. It was after they said it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I go do all this thing finish. I don't give me say it doesn't matter. Well, I just give God the glory and give God the praise. Are you hearing me, sir? I was not happy because you posted all these things against a church without tell, asking me what happened. <laughs> I was just looking. I just went and prayed. I said, God, look at what they did. Because I didn't even know she would have gone to social media begin to post all these things. For me, I kept quiet. I let, I let it go. As one of the things we see in ministry. I never wanted people to know. But she just wanted to destroy my image. I don't know what I did. Nothing. I don't have any skeleton in my cup. I'm not a false prophet. 